Now, if he has this mission to accomplish, to rule the world from Jerusalem, my gosh, how will a little state of Israel rule the world? That's a tall order. In order for Israel to rule the world, Israel will first have to rule the Arabs. Because Israel is surrounded by Arabs. How will little Israel rule the Arabs? Eh? How will Israel rule Russia and China? This is an extremely difficult thing. The prophet said about the child that he would come with two things, a river and a fire. But his fire would be the cool waters of his river. <laughs> and his river will be the fire. In this hadith, the fire symbolizes Jahannam and the river symbolizes Jannah. So Dajjal, <coughs> which is with his PhD in deception, would take the road to Jannah and present it as the road to Jahannam. And he'd retake the road to Jahannam and make it look like the road to Jannah. He does that every night on television. Hmm. He takes the road to Jahannam and makes it look like the road to Jannah. And he takes the road to Jannah and makes it look like the road to Jannah. He takes the truth and clothes it with the clothing of falsehood. And he takes falsehood and makes it look like truth. So he is the master of deception. The Prophet said that Islam <coughs> was found that Dajjal will get people to worship him instead of Allah. He's already doing that. A very famous scholar of Islam in Pakistan, I won't mention his name. I have great respect for that man. Even as an old man and an outstanding scholar, that man was still waiting for someone to claim that he is God. So the child said, the child will claim to be God. When I told him, but the child is already doing that, couldn't understand, couldn't understand. The child uses a number of weapons, political weapons, economic weapons. For example, the Prophet said that the age of the child will be the age of Kathra to Riva. You knew Riva. <coughs> to reduce all those who oppose him to poverty and destitution. And all those who support him will be on the gravy train, driving. BMWs and, you know, the gravy train, driving first class. The jar also will attack women. The last people to come out of the jar will be women. And a man will have to return to his home and his family and tie them down, his wife, his sister, his daughter, to protect them from the jar. And so a revolution in the world of women, a feminist revolution will come with the child. But we want to return now to what we, we mentioned about the three stages. Do we have any indication when the child is released on earth in his first stage. Where will his headquarters be? 
from which part of the earth will he, will he launch his attack, although we can't see him? Yes, we do. I now want to introduce you to the hadith known as the hadith of Tamim al-Dari in Sahih Muslim, a hadith of pivotal importance. We don't need to look to see whether the hadith is Sahih or Daif or reliable or unreliable because it's Sahih Muslim. We, are, we don't have any work to do there. The hadith is that Tamim al-Dari was a Christian, took the shahada, became a Muslim in Medina, and came to the Prophet alayhi salatu islam, and narrated an event to him. The Prophet alayhi salatu islam listened to him. And then the Prophet Islam asked the people to sit in the masjid. He says, I have something to say to you. The Mabel Dari came to me and gave me the news of this event about the Jal, which confirms what I have been saying to you. The narration does not tell us whether it is free or whether it's a vision, or whether it was an actual event. No, you've got to use your own intelligence now. And here is the event. Tamim Adari and some 40 of his companions went on board a ship. If you are in the Arab world and you go on board a ship, you either be in the Mediterranean Sea from the Holy Land or you be in the Red Sea from Arabia. Okay. <coughs> and a storm came and blew the ship for a whole month, so we eliminate the Red Sea. If you're in the Red Sea and a storm comes, within one hour you'll be in ground. <laughs> Not a whole month. So there's only one left, the Mediterranean Sea. After one month, the ship reached land, okay? And it was an island, an island. And now there are a number of clues which are given by which you can seek to identify the island. Is it possible from the Mediterranean Sea to go to the United States by ship? Oh, come on. Yes. American ships, hundreds of American ships over the last 200 years, leaving the United States to come and trade with Tripoli and Algiers and Cairo. How did they get into the Mediterranean Sea? There's a passageway in Gibraltar, okay? They've been there for thousands of years. Good. Which is this island? 